Back in the studio now with Ann Wasser from the Seaver Sandelza. I didn't recognize you when you came in today. Welcome, Ann. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you so very much for having me. <laughs> yeah, we're celebrating pollinators, clearly. Tell us about your awesome costume. Yes, so one of our fabulous volunteers, Judy Yukno, made this costume for us last year for Pollinator Palooza. She is a crafter extraordinaire, and we asked if she would do this, and of course, she jumped at the opportunity because for those that don't know her, she is the real life version of Mrs. Frizzle. Oh, <laughs> so, great. Well, yes. I love the costume. Tell us. <laughs> What is Pollinator Palooza? Yes, so Pollinator Palooza is a celebration of all things pollinator, so not just bees. You've got wasps, flies, birds, and so we have a number of different activities people can do. We have a ton of community partners coming out to help us celebrate, so the Natural Land Institute, Mississippi Audubon, um, our local Wild Ones chapter, we've got Rock Valley Garden Center coming out, we've got Soil and Water Conservation District coming out, so everybody's bringing their resources to help throw a big party for pollinators. So what, uh, what kind of activities can people look forward to? Yeah, so people can actually make their own bee, bee houses to take home um, for carpenter bees. We've also got um, milkweed that folks can take home. You can make your own butterflies. Um, Mississippi Audubon has this really fun hummingbird craft. We have games. Um, we'll have stuff inside and outside because unfortunately the weather is looking mm -hmm. rather chilly. Um, for those that have been out to Severson, we will have the fireplace going out on the porch mm. so you can warm up out there. Um, but you can also grab lunch, um, Big John's food truck will be there, and then Bad Humor ice cream truck will be there too, so you can get your ice cream sandwich while you're out. Oh, sweet. What is that giant bee we just saw a picture of? It's gone now. Oh, but okay. There was a ginormous bee floating. Oh, yes. There yeah, we are. So that is actually, that's a picture from last year. That is a huge um, rusty patch bumblebee puppet that was actually made by a bunch of folks that were involved in Save Bell Bell Prairie. Oh, wow. So that was yeah. something that was made for, for that effort, and they were nice enough to bring it out to the event last year um, and, and educate folks about Bell Bell Prairie. Now, um, we're moving into the spring season, and so I imagine that it's going to start picking up in terms of uh, busyness at at C and Dells. Absolutely, absolutely. So field trips are already in full full swing and people are getting ready for camps. We've got wildflower walks starting next week. So for those that um, want to learn more about their local wildflowers, um, we'll be doing a 10-week series in partnership with the Natural Land Institute um, through the end of June. So you can get out and enjoy the spring ephemerals and the woodlands right now and we move our work our way towards the prairie in June. Awesome. So, so the event is free, but can people, yes. t I mean, if they do make a bee hut or whatever, can they take those crafts home with them? Absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. We encourage people to, and you'll get resources on how to provide pollinator-friendly habitats in your yards um, so that we can increase healthy habitats for all of our pollinators because they are in desperate need of it. And obviously, and uh, we are approaching Earth Day. Um, just talk to me about the importance of pollinators and uh, as you said, producing uh, pollinator-friendly yards. Yes, yeah, so we humans are reliant on pollinators. I mean, so many of our crops are pollinated by, by pollinators. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, we need that for our, our survival, but it's also just kind of part of the natural system. Like they, they need, need a home and need space. And so the more habitat we can provide for them, um, the better off they are, and so are we. So. Did you plan for this event to fall on Earth Day, or did that just was that We did on purpose this year, okay. yes. And last year was the 23rd, so we squeezed it in the Saturday after Earth Day, but we try to connect it with Earth Day as much as possible because it's um, one of the things that we can do locally to help the planet is really supporting our pollinators and getting people to maybe shave off a corner of their yard to put native plants in and mow less. Um, there's little things you can do. Yeah, let's talk about that no mow or less mowing. I know it's controversial. Andy is not a fan because <laughs> he doesn't want his yard to look bad, but what is this no mow yeah. philosophy? The no mow may is the idea that you get dandelions are some of the first things that, sure. that will bloom in people's yards. Right. Um, and so keeping the dandelions there um, and mowing them before they go to seed Okay. Um, okay. That's the big thing is so because you don't necessarily want to distribute them. Right. We have um, enough already. We have right. enough, okay. but they are also a great um, food source for pollinators. Um, and so I would suggest if Andy doesn't want to do no mow may, he can 
take part of his lawn and turn it into native habitat. And if he wants and to learn how walking. to do it, he can learn from Wild, our local Wild Ones chapter, has a ton of resources on, on how to do that. And I highly encourage him and anybody else that yeah. wants to keep their yard, but wants to provide um, pollinator habitat to. Well, yeah, and if you do know Mome, you can get a little sign that's like, I'm doing this for a reason. Absolutely. I'm not neglecting my yard. Absolutely. Was it South Beloit City Council that just passed? Yeah, I think yeah. Beloit did. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So I was pleasantly surprised to see that. Yeah. Lovely. So tell us just the rundown of when Pollinator Palooza is where, what people can expect. Yes, so it's tomorrow from 10 to 3, um, and it'll be at Seaver Sundell's Nature Center, which is at 8786 Montague Road. Um, so we're out on the southwest side of town. And yeah, come out, enjoy, um, bring, bring your family, bring your friends. There's stuff for adults, there's stuff for kids. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of people see some of the pictures and think, oh, it's just for kids, and no, it's not. So okay. it's, for, it's for everybody, come on out and, and play. Awesome. Perfect. And it's going to be mostly inside, but bundle up. Still. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We will we have originally all of our plans were to be outside, but the weather has changed those plans. So we will be inside. <laughs> we'll be out on the porch. Like I said, we'll have the fire going um, and places for people to, to get warm. So famously yeah. unpredictable Midwest weather. Hey? Absolutely. No, Absolutely. On the one day you plan to be outside. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Anne. Yes, exactly. thank you. Pollinator Palooza is coming up tomorrow. We'll be right back.